the soldering iron to solder the time chip to the radio. But where are we supposed to find all the stuff we need? Yeah, let's worry about finding the radio first. Does Adam have all kinds of electronics in his room? We can probably find an old radio in the attic. And you're just uh, moving now. Two arrows pointing me where, where to go. That's me. Almost done. There we go. That is a very strong arm. How do I get up there now? I mean, can't really go that way. Okay, I got it. I got it. That is a super strong arm. Looks like all the water evaporated too. Ah, oh, that's their tank. Whoops. Um, do I need to push this? No. I cannot even push it. The tape recorder still works, but how do we press that red button? Let's find out. Well, jumping on that does nothing. Can't push the books. There we go. Oh, this is going to be a massive pain in the butt, isn't it? Thought I needed to aim higher. All oh, this just to find out what's written on there. Uh, 
Let's try this. There we go. There's nothing, is there? Just need to push the box out of the way. Well. Still have to do that anyways, but... I was kind of hoping to get a bit more insight over uh, the events that uh, happened. I see that blue box! Another interactable right there. Let's take a look. Dear Thomas, don't worry. I'm glad Adam is writing to me. It's great that he's interested in science, and I'd be more than happy to help. Enthusiasm like his is rare nowadays. I'm sure that as long as Adam doesn't get burned out, he'll grow up to be an outstanding scientist. Sincerely, Aaron Lance. Huh. The Thomas Wright from Aaron Lance. Huh. Aaron Lance? That's the professor who taught Adam robotics in our timeline. I guess they met here too. Ah. Uh. I'll be honest, I really forgot the name of uh, Adam, Adam's mother. So I thought things were a wee bit darker than I thought. I'm glad to be wrong on that. I get the feeling we'll be breaking that here shortly. The vine just withered away without any sunlight. Or water. Hmm. Adam must have wanted to record something on this tape. But he couldn't do it because it was right protected. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe. HVS, huh? My phone just went off. I'm going to have to check that here. Wee. My phone went off again. Oh. I was expecting a broken glass. But I'm glad to be wrong. Broken glass can be dangerous, you know. Before I go on, I need to check my phone real quick. Okay. Nothing to worry about. I am getting a bit hungry. So I am gonna have to, uh, 
pause the recording here momentarily. I think once I figure out what to do here, that's when I'll uh, uh, take a longer break. I didn't re uh, recognize that as an umbrella at first. And now we continue. DM is right. We have carefully examined all the documents, and our analysis has determined that the fire was started by rats that chewed through a power cable. Given the circumstances, the insurance company is under no obligation to compensate you for any damages. You may inherit the house, but you will be obligated to repair it. The cost of these repairs would be several times the market value of the house. Sincerely, Lawrence Parker of Clark Parker and Partners. So it was all because of rats? If I hadn't changed the past, if I hadn't gotten rid of the cat, none of this would have happened. I'm going to fix everything, Adam. I promise. That sounds a whole lot, a lot like of the insurance company saying, Dear so-and-so, We've come to the conclusion that it is totally not your fault, but we're not going to come see you for anything because f you, we're an insurance company. That's how they work, after all. I might have a few strong feelings about those. Hey, this radio is in great shape. It'll be perfect for setting temporal coordinates. All systems green. We're almost done. We just need one last component. Well... I'll do that when I come back from my break. All systems green. We're almost done. We just need one last component. And we'll be building it by scratch, effectively. Also, I'm back. So we need to build a, ch a uh, time ship somehow. I already got the radio. done. There we go. Dang. It is worth a try. Okay, I think the game actually expects me to uh, use all three of those. Let's see if I can't get it right. I'm going this way because I went right last time. Adam's Science Laboratory. Adam's Science Lab. Nice sign. Looks homemade. I think about it. It's actually pretty interesting how Adam uh, still went into science. Even after he didn't uh, uh, lose use of his legs. Kinda neat.
Are you kidding me? How and why did that happen? Wait a minute, you stay in there. This is the best this thing. looks like an antivirus folder. It might come in handy. Uh. We need the password. Too bad dang. we don't have it. Guess we won't be able to open these folders. That looks a bit wonky to me. Looks like the cat stuck around after all. I'm not reading any of this, it seems. Funny how I can't read the, uh, read me. Also, one, that can't be safe, having an outlet held up, held up like that, and, and with so many things plugged in. But two, looks, here, looks like he, looks like Adam and his family are European. <laughs> this is me spitballing. Looks like Adam's dad made this sign himself. He must have been really proud of Adam. Just Adam's dad uh, had a change of heart. I found a quote from a certain scientist today. He said, an athletic achievement is one man's victory, but a scientific achievement is a victory for all mankind. I think he's right. I want to become a scientist. I just know I can use science to change the world. Well, this far I managed to use science to uh, screw up the timeline, but not in his favor. It is kind of sad, admittedly. It's a good thing the schematics for the time chip are stored in my memory. We'll have to cut a few corners. I hope this works. That's convenient. All systems green. We're almost done. We just need one last component. I really didn't grab the radio, really? Did I not have the radio? When I saved and quit last time. Uh, I'm going to need my future self to either skip this part or put in a note explaining how I must be insane. Yeah, I, I did this part. Still works, but how do we press that red button? Oh, that's an, this is annoying. Well, that was wonky.
I guess I need to reread this. Dear Thomas, don't worry. I'm glad Adam is writing to me. It's great that he's interested in science, and I'd be more than happy to help. Enthusiasm like his is rare now. Aaron Lance? That's the professor who taught Adam robotics in our timeline. I guess they met here too. just withered away without any sunlight. must have wanted to record something on this tape. But he couldn't do it because it was right protected. Um, or somebody anyways. It's a really good thing that's a light switch man to make it to the other side of the chair. DM is right. We have carefully examined all the documents, and our analysis has determined that the fire was started by rats that chewed through a power cable. Given the circumstances, the insurance company is under no obligation to compensate you for any damages. You may inherit the house, but you will be obligated to repair it. The cost of these repairs would be several times the market value of the house. Sincerely, Lawrence Parker of Clark Parker and Partners. So it was all because of rats? If I hadn't changed the past, if I hadn't gotten rid of the cat, none of this would have happened. I'm going to fix everything, Adam. I promise. I stand by what I said hey, earlier. Hey, this radio is in great shape. It'll be perfect for setting temporal coordinates. Insurance companies never have your best interest in mind. The time machine is ready. We just need to set the coordinates. Hopefully this will work. Well, here we go. Here we go. 